Hey guys, I am back with the glaze recipe, the strawberry glaze recipe to the cheesecake recipe that I just posted. So enjoy this video. This is the updated version. I have two glaze recipes out. This is the updated version. Make sure you go down in the description box below and check out the written recipe with all the measurements. So first we're gonna add about a cup and a half to two cups of strawberries. We're going to add a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of water. And we're going to give that a stir. And before it comes to a boil, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Now we're going to turn this down. So now I'm going to put a teaspoon of cornstarch into two tablespoons of water. I'm going to stir that up. We don't want clumps, so we do want it to dissolve in this water first. Let me turn this down a little bit more to a simmer. It smells so good already. I'm going to pour that in and that will thicken our sauce. It looks good and it smells good. It's going to thicken up. It's going to be thicker, but it smells so good. Now you want to keep stirring. You don't want this to scorch at the bottom of the pan. It's thickening up already. And at this point, you do want to add just a little salt. We'll call it a pinch of salt, but I'm shaking it from the shaker. So it's going to be one, two. That was two and a half. <laughs> two and a half little shakes just to cut the sweetness just a tad. And we're going to let that simmer for about four minutes. It's on low and it's already come to a boil and we've turned it down. So now we're going to let it simmer for about three to five minutes. So it has been simmering. I'm going to turn the stove eye off. I'm going to let it sit just an additional two minutes to thicken a little more. So it's been sitting for about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add one and a half teaspoons of butter. Mm -hmm. Butter. Butter makes everything better. <laughs> so we're going to add that in, stir it up. It just makes a rich, decadent sauce. And it's going to taste even the better. Also, if you want, now I like to do this. It makes the sauce even prettier, more of a red, red color. I put chunks of strawberries that were not cooked in here. So if you have some leftover strawberries that you didn't put in here and they're really red and pretty and fragrant and flavorful, after this has cooled down, go ahead and put those strawberries in sliced up as well. And the sauce will be even more brighter. It'll have a fresh taste as well. And it's going to make for a very good topping on your cheesecake. Or if you're putting it on ice cream or whatever the case may be. You can put this on funnel cakes, waffles. The list is endless. But it will taste so good.
you are welcome to put this into a beautiful dish or you know whatever you want to put it in if you're going to serve it in front of the guests but right now i'm just going to put it right back into the measuring cup that the strawberries were in i will be serving this another day so i'm going to refrigerate this and that's why I'm putting it back in here. And I just cover it up with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator after it cools down, of course. And it'll be ready to put in a beautiful dish when it's time to serve. So I hope you enjoyed the sauce. If you make it, please let me know. Let me know how much you love it because it is so, so good. Also, go to my cheesecake recipe. I'll link it right at the end of this one. I also made another strawberry sauce some years ago that's still out there. I may put that at the end too. That's more of a sauce for the funnel cakes. But this is more so for this cheesecake. But you can use this for both. This sauce, I love this one even the more because I put that butter in here this time and the recipe is a little bit different so it's updated and it is so good on a cheesecake and any other thing you want to put it on. Have a blessed day and see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye. Okay, you guys, I don't want to tilt this too much. Let me see if I can raise it up. But I made a personal size just for me to taste. Grab some of this sauce, go down to the crust. Ooh -wee. Mm. That is double delicious because I like that. I like that a lot. So, yes. Mm. I don't want to eat this whole thing because I'm supposed to be sharing it with my husband. So, <laughs> I'm just going to eat a little bit more, but this is so, so good. Mm. It is amazing. I've let this one chill for, it's been some hours now. We've been to my son's baseball game and come back. The one that you serve, let that chill overnight. I couldn't wait to, to tell y'all because I'm going to post this video tomorrow. I couldn't wait the whole 24 hours to tell y'all how it tastes. It already tastes good. It just has to set up even, you know, more firmer. For But it's, this one is firm now. This one is actually firm now. Let me get some more of that crust. Ooh, got too many strawberries on there. Okay. Mmm, that's good. Anyway, let me get off this camera. I hope you all enjoy the video, and I hope you all love this cheesecake recipe. All right, you all be blessed, and I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye. I'm going to try not to eat all of this stuff, y'all. Mmm, good.